Meanwhile, new changes are coming to the river market. Started in just a few weeks, you'll have to start paying to park in certain areas. The Niles Ray Daniel shares with us why the city is implementing these changes. Parking will no longer be a free option starting the end of July here in River Market. If you want people to come down here and eat and shop, they shouldn't have to pay to park. I think one of the things that is a draw here is that you don't pay for parking. The city underwent a parking audit late last year, looking at the parking needs of this area. And in just a few weeks, they'll be starting a 90-day meter demonstration. You know, adapting to some of the changes that are happening in the river market, density increase, more people coming downtown, period. So as a result of that, um, we're looking at ways to increase parking turnover. And one of those ways is, uh, you know, to try out some new parking meters. There will be four different types of meters installed during this 90 day test run. The demo is not for all on street parking in the river market. It runs the perimeter of the city market area adjacent to the city property. So it's going to be third to fifth, grand to main. The rate $1 an hour Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. A change that's bringing in mixed feelings for some. I don't see that it's going to necessarily help anybody other than just kind of help the city make extra money. I have a tough time parking around here so it'll be good to have like some incentive for people to you know move i don't really think it's it's really good or, i think it's it's kind of a uh, a nuisance property manager for city market deb churchill says the change is inevitable we have gotten busier and busier as just as the crossroads has and so w you have to uh progress with the times. At the end of the 90 days, city leaders say they will look at which meters they will permanently install and where they'll be located. For the Now KC, I'm Ray Daniel. No specific date yet on when these meters will be, will be installed, but it will be later this month. You can get a more detailed look at this plan on the city's website, kcmo.gov.